Good afternoon, Commander. The President and the European Council are ready for you. Please hang on while I put you through. Ah, Commander, I'm glad you could make it. The European Council and I have been discussing an aid package... It's a possibility. The possibility of an aid package for the U.S. The nuclear attack on Chicago seems to have sparked their interest. Do not think us indifferent to your situation, Mr. President. But for us, the United States is very far away. Commander, the point is we've agreed to exchange Agent Tanya's services on this operation for soldiers and supplies from the Alliance. Provided our conditions are met, I am prepared to take command immediately. Now, you just hold on a second, okay? This is my operation. We all need leaders, Agent. No? We have no time to train this guy, Mr. President. You want my men, and you hooked up with my commander. And that's my condition. Very well. If you're on board, Commander, and it looks like you've been drafted, the Prime Minister will give you the details. The objects you see in the second photograph are Soviet missile silos. As you can see, Commander, they are a bit too close for comfort. I believe Romanov's intention is to keep us out of your war. Our men will go nowhere until this threat is eliminated. Take care of these silos, and this war may be close to an end. We're counting on you, Commander. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. <laughs> Battle control online. Incoming transmission. Sir, be on the lookout for Soviet guard dogs. They've been released to sniff out our spies. You got an order? Hooray for Pulse Commentary. Hi guys, this is Lee of Five Random Guys. Doing the next mission of, uh, of the Allied campaign. Um, I originally did record this with uh, live commentary, but I kind of was focusing too much on the game than doing the commentary, so it, the commentary was really lacking. Anyways, this mission sends us overseas into the into the European area. So, yeah, there's only. As far as I remember, there's only two missions that are like this, that you do not build a base or anything like like that. You're pretty much going straight forward doing um, a, an assignment with a small group of uh, soldiers. This mission also introduces spies, um, which I will get to in a second. I'm, for this particular mission, uh, as you watch me control my character going the complete opposite direction of where I need to go, you can actually find some units. This is very handy for later mission for later on, on in the mission. <sighs> Anyways, getting into the uh, spies, taking the sp the spies, I can actually have them disguised as another unit um which i'm trying to explain i'm trying to explain it now in the live commentary but uh, and i'm actually trying to find an example to show you but i kind of ran into the problem with tanya killing everything before it gets on the screen and it's kind of frustrating and i kind of realized where i can where I can actually, uh, yeah, where I can actually, uh, have them get a disguise. Um, pretty much with them selected, I can go to, if I go to any unit, any enemy unit on the screen, or actually on the map, as long as it's, uh, as long as I can view it. I can select them. It usually it'll come up as an attack uh, icon, but they don't really attack them. They just steal the disguise. Um, for instance, there's an enemy unit right there. I can can't really see it, but I can select it, so it works. So the enemy units see them, 
as one of their own. But I can t tell that they're spies. The only unit that can actually see through this disguise is attack dogs. As I mentioned in the first, in the very first mission, and as my lieutenant had told me at the beginning of this mission. <clears throat> so it's very important for me to use Tanya to get rid of all these attack dogs. So pretty much, yeah, conveniently placed barrels, barrels. Um, what spies do? They actually can. They actually do a number of things. One, they can get into uh, enemy bases relatively easy, with with the exception of getting through attack dogs. Um, but they can do. But once in the in the enemy base, they can infiltrate. One of the Tesla generators. He can probably shut down all of the base's power for a good thirty seconds. I forgot she actually talked talk there, um, which is was go what I was going, trying to get in, trying to uh, talk about right now. Sending them into a building can do different things. For instance, sending them into a into a power plant will power down the enemy base for a short time. And you can actually see the t timer at the bottom right of the uh, of the screen, right next to the taskbar, or right next to the actually the energy bar. Um, in scrimmages and stuff, if I ever, if I'm ever going up against an allied uh, units that does that to me, actually shuts down my power, the, sa the same will come up. It'll just be in a different color. It'll be in my color, I believe, actually. Um, my main goal is to get, or my first objective is to get one of the spies into the enemy battle lab which is this uh yeah which is the uh uh building that is actually highlighted on the well was highlighted in the but it's the enemy it's the building that i'm actually sending my spy into right now um this will allow me to get to get in to unlock the rest of the mission and stuff. Um, yeah, as you can see, the spy is actually walking right by their Tesla um, defense system, and it's not even seeing them as an enemy unit. It's just seeing them as himself. Incoming transmission. It looks like we're in. Our spies have infiltrated the Soviets' battle labs and relayed the specs on their silo locations. I'm ready to rock and roll, Commander. So let's take out those silos and head on home. It's getting a little chilly over here. I'm resizing your radar to compensate for the nuclear missile way. coordinates that we just received. Stand by. New terrain discovered. New objective received. Anyways, um, it's very rare for a mission to actually do to uh, resize the uh, radar map, but I. Th I think there's one other mission that does it too. It might be the other mission that's like this. Um, a little Easter egg in this uh, in this mission. If I free these uh, cows, they actually become my units. I can actually send them into enemy territory, so I can have them reveal the map and stuff for me. They will not be attacked by enemy units for a while. They will eventually get killed and stuff and you actually will they will get killed in this uh in this mission. But for the most part they are unnoticed. Um the only drawback is because of the way this mission is set up with the alarm going off saying there is or showing me that there's a Tesla uh coil nearby you're gonna hear the alarm go off like that for a while yeah see it, it, it's not gonna be too bad they they're pretty close together and something random happened there's a random dog just running through here and it's not even the red team it's the gray or the orange team's uh, dog 
why it was down there, I have no clue. It was the most random thing. And I was sincerely confused when that happened. <laughs> um, anyways, back to the uh, spy. Infiltrating, uh... Infiltrating, uh... uh a power plant will allow me to shut down the power. Oh yeah, there's a couple of uh, crates up here too, which they're Unit no big deal. Upgraded. Um, infiltrating a battle lab normally allows me to steal their t steal uh, some of their technology. Um, stealing the Soviets technology will allow me to get uh, mind control abilities for some for some of my units. So pretty much it would give me a new a new unit with mind control. Um, in scrimmages, if I send a spy into an allied battle lab, it will allow me to steal chrono uh, abilities, making giving me a new unit that way. We haven't gotten into the chrono stuff yet into the chrono ability yet, so but that's coming up relatively shortly actually. Um there is us there is some interesting uh uh stuff too that you can do. Um if I control both uh both a Soviet and an allied uh base, which I'll show all those special units in a later bonus episode. Um, they're only, they'll only show up in scrimmages, though. So, well, some of them can only be attained in scrimmages. I can't normally attain them in mission, or in an actual mission. Um, I think there are a few missions where I can actually do it if I worked, if I did what I normally do in scrimmages. But it just takes too long, and by the time I get to that point of capturing stuff, I pretty much destroyed the, everything anyways. Um, besides uh, the battle lab, they can also enter... I can actually send them into the missile silo. Lows. That will reset the missiles and stuff. And they would have to, to wait for them to re, uh, be ready again. Um, normally, whenever a m missile silo is built, unlike the previous mission, um, where it was a missile was instantly ready, it usually ha takes a couple of minutes for it for a missile to be ready. Um, and I can and they can only send one missile at a time, and even even then they can only build one missile silo at a time. Typically, Unit but of lost. course, it's campaign and stuff. Yeah, that's the first cow dead, and oh, I think the way. other ones are soon to follow. Out, Anyways, oh. but if I send a spy in there, it'll reset it, a laugh, meaning that they have to wait through a whole new cycle, um, to go through, and I could do this for any of the super weapons. Hence. Um, nuclear silo is the first super weapon you okay. we've actually encountered. We will encounter the other ones soon. In a, like, two missions, I think, we'll, we'll run into the next uh, super weapon. I think it's the allied super weapon next that we will be introduced to. Um, if I send a spy into a refinery, I can actually steal half of their money. Um, which is pretty good and pretty neat if I'm running, if I'm actually running low on money and I know they if they have a lot. Yeah, there goes another cow. Um, and I think this cow's about to die too. Now, if I send a spy into a bar Ooh, excuse me. Into a barracks, um, it will allow me to build um leveled up uh, infantry units. Not all of them. Not all of them are leveled. Not all of them are leveled up, but most of them are. So allow me to 
it'll allow me to build um, or train units it's with one added um, promotion. Besides, besides that, I can also send them into a war factory, which is the um, tanks and stuff, which builds the tanks and stuff, and that pretty much does the same thing as the barracks does for the infantry units, just for, except for tanks. Um, again, it doesn't uh, promote all of them, just most of them. But it's only good one time, so even so, if I send send multiple uh, spies into multiple uh, barracks or war factories, it won't do any more promotions. It's just the one promotion. Anyways, it, you guys probably saw it earlier, but yeah, there's um, some more allied units over here, and they are kind of important to use. Now, I was a little cautious of sending Ta Tanya down there to try and blow the barrels, because if she gets killed, the mission's over. Over. I failed the mission. I have to keep her alive. Um, and, and essentially any mission that she's in, I have to keep her alive. So I sent these uh, guys over here, which I really shouldn't have worried. She was just fine. How about some action? She would have been just fine, so. On my way. Anyways, now that I have a fully left a veteran uh, tank, I can actually do some damage. But I don't really need to destroy their base. I just need to destroy the other missile silo. So essentially, what I did here, as you as you can see. I'm sending another spy into their, uh, well, their Tesla reactor, their power plant, essentially. Um, and this also triggers enough, another event, or another uh, instance. If I build it, looks like we're gonna need some more spies, sir. Reinforcements have arrived. If I run out of spies at any time, rather they get destroyed get killed or um, I use them all up it will spawn more spies at the start of at the starting area I don't know how many times I could do that though I think it's only a I think it's only a small amount of times yeah and I show you it's just three more but at this point I don't need them I destroyed what I needed to destroy I can go in and just and destroy the missile uh, a uh, silo with, with no problems. But yeah, that's pretty much this mission. Mission in a nutshell. It's it's done now. Um. Primary objective achieved. Yeah. Mission accomplished. So, anyways, uh, if you guys uh, like the like this video, please hit the likes button, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below, sh and share with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next mission, one of my favorite missions, missions in the game. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.